about this. Now we know a little bit more about the best ways maybe to frame the message, but what about if you had to advise on a whole national campaign on communicating AMR? This has actually been done in Thailand. First of all, they started with to understand what the population knows or what they do not do not know about AMR. Our next uh, guest is from the Thai Minister of Health and she has developed a monitoring tool to keep the government informed about what the population actually knows. Please welcome Dr. Hatariat Kosiaporn. Hi. Hi. Um, good evening from Thailand and thank you for having me here in this virtual conference. Um, today I will talking about a lesson learned that um, from a moni monitoring to of public knowledge and awareness of antibiotic use and antimicrobial resistance in Thai population. Um, is this a national household survey in 2017 and 2019 um, conducted by National Statistical Office and International Health Policy Program, Ministry of Public Health, Thailand. Um, even though we put a lot of effort to improve awareness and understanding of AMR, we don't know how this movement leads to behavioral change and how we can use evidence to guide effective communication campaigns. I will focus more on how, how to maximize use of the evidence by going through the details of the survey in terms of objective methodology, key findings, limitation, and lesson learned. This study was designed to monitor one of the targets of National Strategic Plan on AMR in Thailand, which aims to increase 20% of public knowledge on AMR and awareness of appropriate use of antimicrobial by 2021. We have conducted a survey in 2017 and 2019 with the same methodology. A stratified two-step sampling was applied to CREC area and then household. Among the selected households, nearly um, 28,000 adult members met the eligible criteria, which will age of 15 or above, and a completion of face-to-face -face interview using a questionnaire. The questionnaire was adapted from the WHO multi-country survey and an MR module in Eurobarometer. There are five parts of key findings. First, antibiotic use source and indications. Second and third are knowledge and awareness of antibiotic use and AMR. Fourth, receiving public information. And the last, association between these variables and demographic data of age, gender, um, area of residence, education, and wealth queen time. The way analysis what apply and blow up to total population, the knowledge and awareness score was summarized from six through false statements and five um, Likert scale of agree and disagree statements. We also identify the association between variables by using multivariate uh, logistic regression because of the high level of knowledge and awareness score at more than 50%. Um, around 6% of respondents report use of antibiotics in the past month of survey data, um, which reduced by 1.6% percent, um, percent point change from 2017. About 10% were not sure of, uh, about taking antibiotics in the past month, and some might take medicine, but not sure the medicine they use were antibiotics. Among those who report antibiotic use, they, the vast majority of them said that they obtained the last course of antibiotics from health healthcare professional. Around 15% of them use antibiotics inappropriately by indicating all these symptoms and said they did not have any reason um, specifically to use antibiotics. The most common indication to use antibiotics were flu, common cold, fever, sore throat, and cough, which related to respiratory diseases. For knowledge of antibiotic use and AMR, the first three statements are true, while the other three are false statements. 
um, nearly 70% of them gave correct answer that unnecessary use of antibiotics make them become ineffective and stop taking antibiotics when taking full cause of them. Um, about 30 to 40% of them gave correct answer that taking antibiotics often has side effects and antibiotics are equal to anti-inflammatory drugs. On the other hand, only one fourth of people gave correct answer about antibiotics are effective against cold and flu, and antibiotics can kill virus. So overall, we found a slightly increasing trend from 2017 to 2019, except for a reduced proportion of those who might be confused um, about differentiating between antibiotics and anti-inflammatory anti drugs. Um, from six knowledge statements, the mean knowledge score was like 2.5 out of 6. For awareness of antibiotic use and AMR, the first three statements are the positive statements, while the other two are the negative statements, um, which have a reverse point. Uh, more than three more than three-fourths of people agree with the statement that people should use antibiotics only when they are prescribed by a doctor or nurse. Antibiotic resistance is one of the um, concern problem, and they are worried about the impact of AMR on, on their health and families. In, con uh, in contrast, nearly 30% agree to keep antibiotic, um, to keep antibiotic and use them later for other illness, and around 80% agree that they are not at risk of getting antibiotic resistant infection as long as they take antibiotics correctly even though this, true statement, this is not a true statement. Um, from five awareness statements, the mean awareness score was 3.3 out of five. Nearly one fourth of respondents recall receiving information about appropriate use of antibiotics and AMR in the last 12 months. And it's increased by 3.6 percent point change from 2017. The most common source of information was health professional. The other source, such as television, radio, close person, online media, um, play a minor role, contributing to about 10 to 15 percent. Um, and press, such as newspaper, poster, leaflets, were well, like less significant source. For association between variables. Those who graduate from universities were 1.5 to 1.9 times more likely to access to information, have higher knowledge and aware, and uh, have higher knowledge and awareness compared to uneducated, and those who were in the wealthiest in time were 2.2 to 3.3 times more likely to have a, a good result as an educated person compared to the poorest wealth in time. This finding in 2009 was similar to 2017. Um, there are association between access to information at level of knowledge and awareness. Those who can access to information were 1.4 and 2.9 times more likely to have higher knowledge and awareness, uh, while those who have a higher knowledge were 4.1 times more likely to, have, to, 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 be, to be more aware. Um, however, when we apply it to behavioral on antibiotic use for flu uh, to address uh, inappropriate use, there was no association between access to information and level of knowledge and awareness toward the behavior on antibiotic use. A major limitation of this study was the recall bias around a year prior to the survey days. Moreover, the limited understanding about antibiotics and other drugs influenced the validity of the survey. However, we um, applied training interviewers and a few manual to, to improve validity. The lesson learned that I would like to highlight from this study is that we need, to, we need the effective monitoring to, to guide communication campaigns. For example, the findings point out that we should target the vulnerable group due to the association between low socioeconomic status and lack of access to information and poor knowledge and awareness. 
health professional, a key person who deliver message about antibiotic use and AMR, and it improves the level of knowledge and awareness. So we could support healthcare professional to as a key communicator in any setting, especially the point that people make decisions and they should inform people the indication when antibiotics are prescribed. The message should focus on correcting information about antibiotic um, about antibiotic cannot um, cannot treat infection caused by viral disease such as flu and we should not use leftover antibiotics. Finally, we have learned that access to information and knowledge and awareness um, of antibiotic use and AMR are not directly associated with behavior on antibiotic antibiotic use, which might be affect with, which might be affected by other factors. The broader scope of the research and innovation are supposed to develop a lot with the communication in order to change people's behavior. In summary, the monitoring tools about public information, knowledge, awareness, and behavior are important to evaluate and guide effective communication strategy to make it more accessible, relevant, timely, and actionable. I would like to acknowledge our partners in Thailand, and any query and further discussion are welcome. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Dr. Kosiapon.